Apple unveiled HomeKit just about a year ago and now has announced HomeKit devices will be available this June. So joining us now to break all of it down is Abigail Elise, technology reporter at the International Business Times. So Abby, let's talk about this. Your initial thoughts, HomeKit, do you think it's going to be a big hit with consumers? If so, why? If not, why not? I believe with any new type of disruptive technology, something in your home that's controlling your lighting, the temperature, it could water your plants when you feed your pets. It probably is going to take a while for people to adjust to this new idea of something that is controlling virtually everything that's taking place in your house. I think smart home technology is going to be big. I'm just not sure if it's going to be very, very soon. All right, so so maybe it'll take some time. So you, you did mention those smart devices. They probably will be popular on the mainstream side of things with consumers uh, uh, before the home kit here for, for other devices. what, Why and what kinds of devices do you mean when you say smart devices for your home? Well, people have actually been trying to implement smart home devices since uh, the 1960s. But I believe that now with the affordability and also the easy implementation using your iPad, your iPhone, well, in the case for Apple, but your tablets, your smartphones. Um, but now we already have smart locks. We have something like Nest that can control the temperature. We have things that can water your plants. We have things that can feed your pets. There are already devices like this that are a little bit smaller, a little bit less expensive, that people are already using and really loving. This is something that could be big for Apple. Now, the mm -hmm. Apple Watch and new versions of various Apple devices are often built up and hyped up. So why don't you think we're hearing as much about this home kit as we do some of its other products? It's, it's not just, it's not making a big splash, kind of like the watch is making right now, or, or the iPhone or the iPad did when they first launched it. Why not? Again, I think because it's a new technology, people aren't necessarily running to the Apple store to check out the home kit. This is something that people are going to have to put into their houses. So maybe it's not considered as trendy as something that you're going to wear on your wrist. You know, the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus, something that you're kind of out there using every day. It just seems like people aren't really ready yet for this new type of home technology. All right. So maybe it'll just take some time is, is, is in essence kind of what you're saying, right, Abby? Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here. That's, uh, again, Abigail Elise. She's a tech reporter at the International Business Times. And thanks for watching the Tech Bet. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.